Attack on Mika! Aye, aren't you hot wearing your uniform? Our middle school allows us to wear our gym clothes during the summer, so why don't you go change? I'm like, not hot at all though? It's not convincing when you're covered in sweat, you know? But, but wait, there are other people still in their uniforms too! Well, I guess that's true. Right? <laughs> I, Aikai, couldn't hide that I was upset by my friend Yuki Nakamura's words. The reason for that... Because if I'm in gym clothes, then everyone can see it, you know? In order to hide the birthmark on my collarbone, that's also one of my biggest insecurities. A button-up shirt with a collar is a must. During gym class, I wear an athletic jacket, and I zip it up all the way to the top. During swimming class, I fake an illness and I somehow avoid it. Anyway, I don't want anyone to see it, and so I do whatever it takes to hide it. You guys need to get going soon. Hey, Kai! You're sweating so much, then change into your gym clothes and cool down. M Mr. Makita. This person is Kaio Makita. Or, I'm not sure if it's Kaio or Kai Makito, but he's my homeroom teacher, and also the student guidance teacher. I tried to avoid this teacher when I could. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I felt like he looks at me differently from the other kids. I feel like he insists on interacting with me. Even now, there were about 20 students left in the classroom, and he purposely singled me out. Um, I'm going home now. Wait, Kai! You're hiding something, aren't you? Wait a minute, you have a hickey or something on you? N no that's wrong! That is wrong! Ai has never even held hands with a boy! There's no way that would be the case! That was unnecessary information, don't you think? Was that necessary? No! You're suspicious! This is unacceptable as a student! If you don't have anything, then show me! N no please stop! Hey, Mr. Makita! Before Yui could help me, my button-up shirt was in my teacher's hands and it was ripped open, and the scar on my collarbone that I was desperately hiding was completely exposed. Uh, uh... Hmm? Oh, now that I think about it. Did you talk to me about some kind of scar or something before? Sheesh, don't be confusing. You shouldn't have resisted weirdly and just been straightforward and shown it. Uh, I probably didn't want everyone else to know about it. That's why she spoke only to you about it. If you can't get over an insecurity or two, you can't become a proud adult. If you understand, now hurry up and go home. Mr. Makita didn't even apologize for ripping my clothes and instead yelled at me and walked out of the classroom. Everybody was staring at me and I was frozen on the spot. Yuki covered me in a towel and led me outside. Makita, I'll never forgive him for this. Don't you think? I... Yuki... It's gross, isn't it? That's a disgusting, Scar. Huh? There's no way I would think that. Because you're my friend. Y yuki Ai, let's get revenge on that Makita. What do you mean, revenge? But how? Do you know how Makita is always carrying that bag? It's just a rumor, but apparently there's something outrageous inside. Something outrageous? You know, like... <laughs> I decided to get revenge on Mr. Makita with Yuki. And so, the day of our plan, our classmate Yamamoto was going to be transferring schools, so we were having a farewell party with our class. Everybody looks like they're having a good time. Maybe it's almost time. Yeah. Well, the next, I guess I'll play a song. Before that, you're always carrying a bag with you, Mr. Makita. What's inside of it? What? It's nothing exciting. Well then, I'll sing F by the Maximum Failures. You're gonna sing F on the guitar? What? But I wanna know. Don't you all wanna know too? Y yeah, I wanna know. That's true, I've always wondered. I think checking his belongings would be more interesting than a song. Just as we thought. The teacher must really not want us to see what's inside, because his cold sweats wouldn't stop. As Mr. Makita was panicking, Yuki swooped beside him and snatched the bag out of his hands. Hey everyone! Do you want to see what's inside the bag? Yeah! Wait! 
You can't just touch people's belongings without permission. Hey, why not? We just want to see. Ah! They started pulling back and forth when the bag flew into the air. At the same time, the contents of the bag flew out and scattered around the floor. This... isn't this... All over the floor were various anime goods. Some sealed in plastic files or playing cards or key rings. Hordes of them everywhere. Not only that, but they were all drawings of middle school, no, elementary school little girls. The type so-called anime freaks would have. Uh, uh, this is, uh... Mr. Makita, is this what you're into? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not into this at all. I just didn't have any hobbies, so I started one randomly. It's only been like three days since I started collecting them anyway. No, you have to be quite the obsessive nerd in order to be able to collect these major items. Y Yamamoto? This anime was based off of a famous book, and there were a lot of core fans. Judging by these goods, there are a lot of premium items, as well as special edition and limited edition items that you can only get at the voice actor's events. Plus, that character named Hiyori-chan on her card, you have a direct autograph from the voice actor that plays her. Mr. Makita, you must really be a huge Hiyori-chan fan. This just shows you're quite the expert. Y you know so much, Yamamoto. But wait, that character named Hiyori-chan... I feel like she looks just like I. Mr. Makita looked frantic, and in his panicking of panics, he shockingly began a confession. I bet none of you could ever understand, as a middle school teacher, how indescribably thrilling it is to bring in these goods and carry them around the classroom. What? Not only that, but my wife and Kai are identical. Is there anything more exciting than that? I just wanted to be thrilled 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, while living my Lolita fantasy. That's disgusting! <laughs> Aha! Ta-da! And that was today's prank! <laughs> Mr. Makita, that was pushing it. Of course, nobody was going to believe that this was any kind of prank. That's so gross. Mr. Makita was completely pale when he realized the crowd gathered by the entrance of the classroom. But since when? Uh, Makita, you've really messed up. The vice principal? You're here too? I messaged my fellow anime nerds and called him. If you make full use of my community, you can call them in seconds, and they'll tell you everything. Well done, Yamamoto! Y Yamamoto? Mr. Makita, why were you hiding the fact that you loved anime? Well, well, that's because if anybody found that out, that I loved this anime, they would definitely be grossed out. I felt the same way, you know? That if anybody found out about the scar, that everybody would avoid me. But that wasn't the case at all. Nobody cared and they treated me normally. You said that if you can't get over an insecurity or two, that you can't become a proud adult. But now I understand really well what that meant. Because you're not a proud adult, Mr. Makita. I don't care at all that you like animes, but the fact that you use that to gain pleasure? Honestly, that part is way too disgusting. Gah! Hayori chan! That's not Hayori. Yikes! Anyway, Mr. Makita, please gather all of those things on the floor and come with me. And so, Mr. Makita was taken away by the vice principal. Yamemado, I'm sorry, this was your farewell party, and this is what it turned into. Don't worry about it. I also couldn't forgive him for what he did to your shirt the other day. And more than anything, I couldn't forgive him for desecrating that anime. Thanks to you being so knowledgeable about animes, we were able to unveil the monster. Thank you. Well, I guess this is the last gift that I can leave for you all. That was so cool. And so the revenge presentation produced by Yuki with the help of Yamamoto was a huge success. What Mr. Makita did to me, as well as the teacher being interested in young girls, became a big problem in the PTA, and in the end he was fired from the school. On the other hand, I no longer feel the need to hide my birthmark that was my insecurity. A lot of people look at me curiously, but I don't care at all. I wear whatever I want to wear, and I'm so happy now. 
I want to thank you all for the other day. Today is my treat. I want you guys to eat a lot. And also, how's the new school? Did you make friends? Before I transferred, I was already connected with a few fellow anime nerds, so I had no issues. Uh, of course you did. Uh, of course you did. Excuse me. I will have the three cheese beef barrel with the special toppings and a soft boiled egg. Thank <laughs> you.